Hey guys, welcome back. So, in the last video, we kind of just have this. It's a pretty bare, brand new Angular application. We got rid of the little boilerplate for the application, for the app component. And now we're just going to create some components to, um, what's the word? Uh, to set up the structure of the app. So, first, we're going to get rid of this. We'll just do an h2 and just do a Simon game here. And don't worry, it's gonna. We'll fix the stylings a little later. And, uh. Yep, so now we're gonna create our first actual component. So, in the terminal, we're gonna run the command ng g for generate. Let's see if we're component. Uh, you can spell it out, but I normally just do the shorthand here. And. We're going to provide the path, components, slash, and we want a game component here to take care of the, to contain the, the actual Simon game itself. So I'll just do game. Um, yeah, that should do it. So source app components game. So everything will live inside of this directory here. And... Uh, Let's see, the selector is app-game, so in our main app component, we're just going to do the app-game here. Save, and let's serve this up. I'm using the open flag because I'm lazy, so um, that's what this is. All right. And there we go. There it is. So game works. All right. So um, I don't want to get too much into design, but uh, just because it's gonna annoy me, I'm gonna do this. So text align center text transform uppercase and then font family. Sanser. There we go. It's in the middle. Everyone's happy. All right, and now let's do some stuff in the game component. So we definitely don't want this paragraph tag. Instead, what we want is uh, three or four buttons. But um, it's a little redundant to create those four buttons separately so we're actually gonna create or we're gonna generate another component so ng generate component and this one is gonna live inside of components slash game slash game button and angular follows the hyphen snake case so that's what we're going to do. And here's the buttons. And it just says game button works. And in our. And the selector is app game button. So in our game component in the HTML, we're just going to do app game components. And we're just going to have four of these. So. Like so. Um, what uh, what went wrong? Let's see. App game comp. Oh, duh. Button. Sorry. There we go. Game button works. Now you may be wondering why I created a button or what's the word something like this it's actually because I want to uh, have it independent of the, the actual game so that we could do a button here and also pass in the color uh, this should break let me see yeah so let's create a input 
color. It's gonna be a string. And uh, in our game component, which is right here. No, the HTML. I'm sorry. Here, uh, we're gonna just um, pass in the color, like so. Um, so if I remember correctly, I need a red button, a blue button, green, and yellow, I think. And there we go. So we get the four buttons. And that is the basic idea. We also want it to output um, something. So let's uh, make an on click event. So on click. Um, just do a console log right now. Uh, let's do this. This dot color clicked. And then our game button here. We're just gonna bind the event click listener to what did I call this? Uh on click. So on click like so. And we open up our console. This one we could tell which button has been clicked. So click the green button three times, blue button a bunch of times. Alright. That just about does it for the game's logic. Or not logic, the structure of the game. Uh, so we have four buttons that's independent. We're going to emit an event every time these are clicked. And we're also gonna, um, well, in the next video, we're gonna create a services thing to actually, I'm just do it right now. Clear uh, ng generate service, and it's gonna be in the services directory. And we're gonna call this game state. And this is where we're going to hold in our game's state, as well as emitting or taking care of what button has been clicked, if the user is clicking the right buttons or not, and then whether or not to replay the buttons once again. So, uh, pretty simple stuff, but this is the structure of our project. We have uh, the outer game component that has all the um, buttons. We have the individual buttons that will take care of the actual events itself. And then we have a service which will handle and manage our game's state. Alright, in the next video we're actually gonna write some logic and actually get this to start doing things the right way. Alright, I'll see you guys next time.